Uh, yeah, a... I'm sort of at a birthday party, so I'm only going to be on for a little bit. Well, I guess we'll start with you then, Mike. Nephew. What, like, what's I, up? I, I literally just started the call now, so if you've got limited time, you go first and introduce Halo. Um... No, you, you take it from here. I'll jump in for a little bit. Ah, Corey's in charge of introductions. I'm bad at him. All right, you got it, Mark. Oh, drop my microphone. <laughs> Mark, you're in charge. Go for it. Good me. I welcome everyone to uh, Game Club's uh, Game of the Month. This month we uh, played Halo. We're either the original Xbox or the remastered version for Xbox 360. Uh, first up, we have Kevin. Hi, everybody. I'm Kevin. My mic next, up, next up, we have Mike. Hey, what's up? And then we have Corey. Hi. And then a new member to our group, Cassie. Hello. It's worth noting this was her game winning, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Good pick. And congratulations again. Cheers to Cassie. Alright, so I guess uh, we'll go down the list. Um, uh, what are your overall thoughts? I guess, uh, Kevin, do you want to start? Overall thoughts of it was, man, this game could be really good if it was Halo 2. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's almost there where I'm like in love with it, but I'm just like, uh, we'll get into it later, but like it's it just falls short a little bit of being like one of my favorite FPSs of all time. But, uh, you know... I'll move on later. Go ahead. <laughs> All right. Mike, you're next. Uh, like, I think I said it before. I mean, for me, it's kind of like a nostalgic thing. But, I mean, for what for what it is and, uh, like, how good it is, you know, I think is a lot with what your memories are of it. Because it definitely has, like, some flaws as, like, a shooter. But, I mean, it's a really solid game. You know, like, yeah. the multiplayer of it at its time was, like, phenomenal. And I think it still holds up. So, even if you didn't play, like, the remastered version, I think... Um, I mean, like the environments are a little barren, but I mean it's it's a classic game. You know, I'm, I'd probably, probably to this day still my favorite game, just for like what you know the fun that I had playing it at the time that it came out. All right, Corey. Um, I don't have really a nostalgia for it like that because when I was younger, I had a, a PS2 that only the rich kids had Xboxes and talked about how good their hard drives were and stuff. But uh, I think it's it's really fun. It's just really raw. Like I feel like I'm raw. Eating, I feel like I'm eating really sweet icing, and I'm like, mm, this is pretty good, but it tastes better with some cake. You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> that's such a weird way to describe <laughs> it, but I get it. That's the sad part. It's like you can't eat a whole bunch at once, but it is kind of good, you know. I will eat all the icing I feel like. I'm a fatty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's what I think. I like it, though. I like it a lot. I love Halo. Okay. All right, Cassie? This was my first time actually playing through it. Um, I've played multiplayer before, but I never played through the campaign. But um, I thought it was a really good uh, game as far as the gameplay went. But the story was just it was kind of meh for me. But otherwise, I, I loved it. So. That's very sweet. So my thoughts are on it. It was a good game, but I thought a lot of the levels were longer than they needed to be, especially like the environment. It's nice that it's open world and you can go like anywhere, but a lot of places you don't even have to explore really. Well, I think the biggest complaint we all had during the month, I thought, was these levels are really nice, pretty, and huge, but. Like, where no sense of direction. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason to be. I mean, yeah. One of the things that, I mean, I, as much as I love the game, it's incredibly guilty of, um, like, recycling environments. Like, there's two or three levels that are just the same level that you've already played, but in reverse. Oh, that so wasn't the just me. Trails though. is just, uh, what's it, Assault in the Control Room? No, yeah, like, just in reverse. So it's the exact same layout, everything the same, but just in reverse. And yeah, it's I thought like my game level didn't save when I saw that. I thought that was like, did I fuck up here? Like, I didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, if, yeah, if you play Assault in the Control Room, you literally go through the entire thing in reverse. Like, if you pay attention to the arrows on the ground, you're just going against them. Um, oh, I played the remaster, though. I wonder if they, like, redid the textures and made it to it. No, it's, it's still the same. It is it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's one of my biggest gripes with the game, because they do that, and then the... um. Like the level of 
the assault no it's um the silent cartographer you're just going in and out of the mountain like a number of times and you kind of go to the same area twice um and then what other and then the the key, keys level is the um the second level of the game which is the truth and reconciliation except the ships crash but you're still going through the same corridors and they just change the environment like a little bit See, that's weird cuz i thought that there was a there was this period where anytime i was in a spaceship I was just getting lost. Like every spaceship yeah. to me looked like the same ship. Like I, from the first level to to silent cartographer, I'm like, this looks like the same ship, but it's literally the same ship. Like now that you said that, I was like, I thought it was just me. Yep. Damn. Okay, so that that's kind of lazy, but it was whatever. their first go at it though, so we gotta cut them some slack. Yeah, they also I mean, they even meant to be a shooter until like I think maybe two years before it, it launched. Well, yeah, it was supposed to be like how Halo Wars was, and I think... Uh, it was an RTS, yeah. Yeah, I think Microsoft was like, let's not do that. No, I give them big props then if they did that. Yeah, they like the yeah. whole game is thrown together in like two years, which is kind of amazing that it, it came together. So I think they just nailed the shooting mechanics and then kind of tacked everything else on afterwards. Hmm. It's not too bad then. It was, almost on, it was almost an Apple exclusive, actually, it was, um, but... I, Apple didn't want it. Uh, it was going to go to like the DOS systems and stuff. That was going to be an Apple exclusive. Wow. I don't know about an exclusive, that. but that before the company went bankrupt, that's what they went to first um, to try to have them buy them out, and they, they didn't want to hear it. So then they went to Microsoft, and they were like, "Well, we got the Xbox coming out, and if you be an exclusive, except we want it to be a shooter." And they only had like two years to change change everything. So it's kind of funny because it's like if like they went to Mario, they're like, "We want this game, but instead of being a platformer." We're going to make it like a puzzle Tetris game. Is that cool? <laughs> then you can do it for us. That's weird to me. I didn't know that, actually. Fun fact. So they were probably You're sitting on Halo drop, Wars drop for a while. Really... They probably were sitting on Halo Wars for like 10 years. They are like, can we please? Let's, let's put it out now. The sequel's coming out soon, by the way. That is the game nobody asked for, to be fair. Well, sure. I'll try it. I'm not saying it's not fun. It's just like, I don't know anyone that was like, Halo Wars 2... <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. Like, it is a really good this. RTS for a uh, console RTS because normally they're just awful. So the fact that it's like made for the console, it's it's not bad. That's fair enough. But I guess uh, we'll run down the line, and everyone I guess will do their the uh, one pro and one con about it. So I'm gonna start with Cassie because it's her win, so she might as well lead the way. So Cassie. Um, pros, I would say definitely the gameplay of it, just uh, going through hordes of enemies and having the shotgun, I love that. And then uh, cons is um, pretty much some of the levels were the same, and then there were a lot of times where it was really dark and hard to see, but... It was super dark. Yeah. I even forgot there was a flashlight off button because I had it on most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> it, when it died on me, I just was like, well, this is I'll just stay here for a bit. <laughs> nice. It was good. Uh, Corey, favorite um, pro? My pro is also the gameplay. It's really good. Like, I play a lot of first-person shooters, so it's a really, really good, like, first-person shooter mechanics. Aside from some of the buttons being different, but it's just because I'm used to Call of Duty and stuff. It's but, very 90s style, you know, yeah. no yeah. yeah. It's a transition, uh, definitely. My biggest con is the kind of shallow story, but I know it's their first game, you can't really think of that. And they also have, like, all these books and stuff they expect you to read and, you know, to get more into the lore. But the story was kind of... It was shallow, I'll just say. <laughs> Yeah, I, any time a game for me where it expects me to read anything outside of it, I don't even consider it like part of the lore or canon. That's just like too much effort for me at that rate. They did a good job with the remaster by adding the terminals in, which does like a really, really good job of kind of flushing up more of the events of the first game while you're playing it. If anybody played that version, is that the 360 one or the Xbox One version though? Either. Yeah, oh, okay. both. Does anybody have wow. who who has it on either 360 or Xbox One? I've been on both, but I played on Xbox One. Okay. I've been on and 360. I played it original. So, Yo, Team Original! <laughs> I was hoping, I was really hoping we could try to make, like, at least, like, one game night out of this, because it's, like, a nice multiplayer game, since it's the last game of the day, uh, of day of the month for it. 
I mean, um, maybe I'll we can try to do that point. tonight. If anybody wants to jump on, I'll try to jump on later. That'd be kind of cool. How late? Yeah. Too late for you. I'll be it's like nine. the weekend. I can stay up on the weekend. <laughs> oh, I don't know. You never can. I never... I... My uh, Xbox Live just expired. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll, we'll talk we'll, after the, the meeting. We'll see if I can dig up some codes. We'll see if it works. We're going to make it work. Fair enough. I'm, I actually might have a code. I didn't even think about that. I just know I got an email like two days ago. Like, your Xbox Here's your three-hour Xbox Live trial because we miss you. <laughs> yeah. It's always something pathetic. It's like, here's 15 minutes of gold. Like, I started with Halo 3, by the way, and loved the multiplayer on that and got really good at it. But now I've like lost all my skill because of Call of Duty. Yeah, you have to stay on top of those games. They really... You can get buried. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mark, play anymore. what's your pro? Uh, my pro is I really like the story, and especially with um, with what Mike said about the remastered, it kind of blends in the folks, uh, the novel of it, into the main game, so that way you get all that. more of a story with it. Uh, my cons would pro- most likely be like the, the length of the game, it's just not the length of the game, but the levels in general, and also there's no sense of direction. Like the one level. You basic the one part I got to you had to basically sneak around the enemies, and I was sitting there for like two hours trying to kill all the enemies, and I kept dying. I was like, "How come I'm dying? I I'm on normal difficulty. This can't be that hard." Was that the so level he, you asked me about with the health packs? Uh, no, that's the final level. Oh, uh, okay. This was like when you were riding like I, I think it's the banshee or whatever the, the flying uh vehicle is. And you get to the one part where you can't use it anymore, and you have to like stealth around to get to the other banshee. And on the mountain? Like, oh yeah, that part. Yeah, he's, he's, yeah. he's, he's just a sneaker on the back side of it. Wait, on the mountain? Yeah. You're talking about the right? Yeah, I was going yeah. the wrong side the whole time. I did that too, but I I got the like I kind of glitched the ghost into the door. So once you got past uh-huh. like this hallway, I kind of just used it to go through the level. <laughs> oh <laughs> I was nice. Like, yeah, this makes the game way better. <laughs> Yeah, I was trying to do that. It wasn't working. I was like, nope. <laughs> it's definitely not meant to work. Because you're playing on 360, maybe they fix it. But in the Xbox One, like, if I got, like, the wing on the corner, like, it yeah. did this weird thing where it, like, freaked out, like, spun real fast. It was like, you're in the building now. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> this this is fine with me, then. Yeah. yeah. I actually did that in Twilight Princess last night. Where'd you glitch through? Well... I was at the part where you're about to get to Death Mountain. I don't know if anyone's played it, but mm-hmm. like, the air is blowing out of the side of the mountain and you can't go past it. And then, like, I got hit by a uh, falling boulder right as I was getting hit by that air, so it pushed me past the air. And then I just kept going, and, like, I could hear somebody through a wall and I couldn't interact with them, so I, like, I was just like, I don't think I'm supposed to be over here yet. <laughs> it's actually a secret in Zelda. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was. But yeah, that was not Halo talk, so I'll stop. Nah, it's cool. Uh, Mike, you're pro. I mean, other than everything, because uh, you love Halo, but... Well, no, I would say, like, if you had to boil it down to, like, why it's popular, is because of, the, like, it's tight game. Like, the shooting mechanics feel very, very refined. So, like, and the cons would definitely be the level the level uh, layout and design is, is pretty crappy. Yeah. Um, but, like, the, the game mechanics of it, at its core, is, like, really good. It's a very well-balanced game. So like you know like called you know I don't know too much about Call of Duty but um like you could start with a pistol and multiplayer and if you're good at it you could you know that'll carry you through the game you don't really need all the weapons they're just options for yeah. you to like play it differently if you want to although the assault rifle is terrible but other than that I, I think I'm gonna bounce so I um sorry I'm tucking out early but thanks for let me jump on guys I'll talk to you guys later bye president bye, bye. Right, see you Mike <laughs> see you. I'll be I'll definitely make time next month yes sir. Yeah, so I guess I'll go with my pro then. So going to the weapons thing is every gun, like all the guns felt unique. And that that's like my big thing with a lot of shooters. Like it's essentially just a different shape thing to shoot bullets out of. That was the same. But like every gun in Halo, like the assault rifle was like really fast but really weak. The shotgun, which I didn't get. When did you get the shotgun first, Cass? Because you got it, you said. Um, It was right at the flood is when I got it. Yeah, I think I think I got to pass that. I must have missed it cuz like when I found I knew it was in the game. But I was like the shotgun's awesome. Like it's so accurate and it just takes down like everything. Like <laughs> one hit with like a banshee would like fly it out of the air and like it'll take out like a huge group of those little flood like they're all gone. Yeah, they would destroy everything. I was just sitting there I was like I love this gun. 
Like, oh. And then, like, the pistol. Like, the pistol alone is, like, a oh, full feature. OP. Yeah, that thing's a full feature. Like, I was, I was one-shotting almost, like, everything with it until you got to, like, the big, big grunts. Which, I mean, I can't do anything about that. But, like, the gunplay was good. Uh, even though the vehicles, which you barely got to use, were good. Uh, except the Warthog, because every time I try to get in the gun... Driving Driving... Isn't it just, like, Borderlands, though? Yeah, but, like, less traction. Like, I feel like I'm Lu- Luigi. <laughs> you were Luigi. <laughs> if that makes any sense. No, it does. <laughs> I didn't think of that until now. All right, I like that. The, um, I just wish I got to use the Warthog gun more, because my only real experience with the Halo is, like, back in the day there was a, a demo you can get of it, and it would just let you play Deathmatch on Blood Gulch over and over and over, like, online. And the main thing I'd do was just sit in the Warthog gun and just, like, blow people up with that. So when I went to play the campaign, that I, I, I could be the gunner, somebody else drive, and the game would never let me be the gunner. Like, that, that was kind of disappointing, but, you know, you live and you learn. So I guess we should go through our biggest cons with the game. We're going to go reverse order, Mark. This is Mark. Uh, the cons, I would say, would be uh, definitely they should have added the nav points a lot more, like, throughout the game to where your objectives are. Yeah. There's a lot of times I was... Randomly. Like, yeah, yeah, they did that, but I mean, they should have just had it throughout. That yeah. way you knew where you had to go instead of wasting all kinds of time. And even the part, even especially the part where you had to stealth uh, through that one area, and should have told you, like, hey, you, you can't, you should be stealthy here, or so, said some kind of hint. But they didn't tell you anything. Cortana's the worst Navi ever. Yeah. <laughs> Like, she wasn't helpful at all. She was just kind of there and, like, kind of was smirky and a bitch instead of, like, helpful. And also, like, when they used the nav points, it was already obvious in the game. It's like, well, duh. You're, like, right in front of it. It's, button. like, here. <laughs> when you're, like, yeah, you're 50, you're, like, 50 feet from it. It's like, go here, by the way. Thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was good. So, Corey, your main, your main con? Um... What was I just about to say? Oh, yeah, the uh, respawning. I didn't like how I'd get, like, the last level. Remember the last driving level? You get, like, all the way almost to the end and die, and then you have to start it all the way back over. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of levels had that kind of thing where I'd do a whole bunch of stuff and then die and be, like, way back here. Like, it's a lot easier on co-op because then... It, it was, like, super selective. Like, sometimes you'd appear right where you died. And then the game would literally just, like, screw you and be like, no, you got to start, like, three missions, like, before this. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how it decided which right. to do. <laughs> I thought when I hit a save point and, like, it auto-saves, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll start here. No. I yeah. see. No. That's I what know. I thought, too, and I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. easier in co-op, though, because then you're just like, stay alive, stay alive, and they stay alive, and you come back, and you're good. Gee, I wish yeah. I had somebody to play this with, because I was sitting there, I'm like, do any of my friends like old games? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's fine. Cassie, your main con? Probably the checkpoints. There would be the levels that were super easy, that the checkpoints would be one after the other, and then the ones where you really needed them, they uh, they were, like, so far out. Like, yeah. especially, like, the Maw. Like, you'd have mm-hmm. to actually um, destroy, like, one of those things first before you get the checkpoint. So, oh, I know what you're talking about now. At yeah. least at the mall. I was like, there was a mall level? Did I miss that? That was awesome. Yeah, you have to go to Hot Topic. And... <laughs> you have to buy all the mess. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you have to make sure your pants are too tight and you can fit over his armor. Yeah. you got to make sure they have a shirt that fits you with Green Day on it. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is a Halo like Green Day shirt somewhere out there with like, like, a punk rock Master Chef helmet. Did you say chef? I know, I know I'm saying chef. Uh-oh. I'm waiting for the Cooking Mama mod where you can play as him. Uh, all these crossovers, I don't know where to go. That's actually every shirt at Hot Topic is like some kind of crossover into another thing. Yeah. Like, it's like it's, the Legend of Pandora. The, oh, for Borderlands? I don't know. I'm just making stuff up. I feel like I've seen something like that, though. That's the thing. I meant to say Pantera, but then Pandora came up, which is Whatever. a music app. Pandora, Pantera, it's almost the same. <laughs> kind of. And Pantera, uh, I'm Pandora. Yeah. I guess uh, the biggest con for me was the just the giant levels. And like we said before, everything got reused, so I didn't know where I was. There was one mission where 
I can't remember what it was, but you were in some kind of ship, and then you had to go in, like, this hallway, and then there was, like, a really tiny hallway. You'd have to go up even more and then drop down and, like, get where you had to be. And then, like, getting out of there was just impossible. I had no hope of getting... I think I know which one you were talking about. Yeah, I can't remember the name of it, but, like, I I had... I think it was, like, you started at the beach, and then you went, like, into the ship after that. Yeah. I, I, I was like, actually, that's what made me stop. Like, I had to sit and stop recording the gameplay for a bit, and I was like, I don't want to do this. Oh, you recorded yourself? Well, I was going to make a, a review out of it, and then I just didn't because free time. Hey, my foot. Um, nice yeah, thank you. Size 14. Um, yeah, it just, I, I was just so, like, I couldn't even, like, entertain myself. I was just like, what do I do? I want to go home. Like, I just didn't want to do anything in that level, like... There's just too much stuff that was unnecessary. And it, it was just a waste of space. Like, the level could have been streamlined so much faster, which is why, like, I really want to play Halo 2, because, like, the goodness is there. It's just, like, it just keeps kicking me down every time I like it a little more. I can't wait for Halo 2. They remastered it just for the uh, Xbox One. And I gave, it, like, Xbox brand, one. gave it brand new cutscenes that are, like... Oh, wow. Really? ADP, yeah. Brand new cutscenes, like made by some company named Blur or something, but they, I don't know. They're supposedly amazing. If an Xbox One, I'd buy one, but I can't wait to play it. Then. <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Though. Now I kind of really want to do that. Yeah, ah, that's cool. I guess we'll. I guess all right. Here's an. I think we did this last month. I can't remember. But if you had to do anything to make it better, try to avoid what we said. Like I'm not going to say the shorter levels. If you have to do anything to make it better. What would you do, Corey? Make Cortana naked. I'm just kidding. She is naked. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. She's like an AI. She doesn't have clothes. She's like a little Barbie doll. <laughs> Yo, she's weird as hell too. Like I thought she was like, like they tried to make her look human, but like in the first Halo, especially in like original, she's like. Hey. <laughs> no, I would uh. Maybe add some customization. Women. To your chief. Well, you can change your profile color, which did nothing. Exactly. I mean... I wish I could play as Black Master Chief. That'd be cool. Yeah, exactly. Maybe change him up a little bit. That's fair enough. I like it. <laughs> At least with co-op, not have two green Master Chiefs. That's confusing in every game that does that. Like, you ever played Resistance 3? I have all three, but I've only played a little one. So, like, me and my buddy are doing three co-op, and, like, he plays as a different character, but, like, you can tell the game's meant to be, like, one guy, so it's like... Go to the store and open it, but wait for your buddy now. And then they like merge into one person <laughs> and like open a door. So I, I kind of like picture that happening with Halo. But I don't know. <laughs> so Cassie, what would you do to make it better? Probably add more cutscenes. Uh, I didn't really have any connection to the characters. I didn't feel like so. That's fair enough. The Master Chief is kind of like a blank slate. Yep. He only talks when he's like, yeah, I guess, whatever. <laughs> That was a hair flip, but I don't have hair. Corey, hair flip for me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Mark? Um, I would say allow you to hold more weapons. Oh, the two. Rather than just have two. At a time, we could hold at least four. Be yeah, cool. kind of, that's like a modern game thing that's been pissing me off lately. Yeah. Like, like cause I, you and me are playing Half-Life, and there's so many weapons Gordon can hold at a time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, like, I... Oh, yeah, I'm like... Yeah, it's like a shotgun, my guns. this M16, this rocket launcher, these bugs, which I don't know what they do, these crowbars, like... I was going to tell you, Kevin, that uh, when you said you like how all the guns are different, I was going to say that's because they only have one of each kind of gun. <laughs> well, yeah, but that was nice at least. I don't need 40... There's, like there's like a BR, a pistol, a shotgun, a rocket launcher, sniper rifle, and... That's oh, fine! I'll take that! And then you have all of those in alien form over here. Yeah, that's awesome. That's exactly <laughs> what I needed. Like, I, I love all those. The, the Needler especially. Ooh. The Needler's so annoying online, though. Well, yeah, because it locks on you. Like, you running, you'd be like... <laughs> it bites your face off. It's awesome. Yeah. Uh, what else was there? The, uh... What was... Ah, uh, fuck, hold on, wait. The the plasma rifle, not the little pistol thing. The other one, like, with the little blue tips there. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking yeah. about, right? No, you don't. The one, I got, the one that you hold, and it's like, Whoa. Yeah, that one. It takes off their shield in one shot? Yeah, that thing's awesome. 
Oh. Whenever you can dual wield, you just shoot that, and their shield's gone, and cap them. So you just take their shield and blow up the bazooka if you can? Or, like, any gun, because once their shield's gone, like, yeah, they're pretty like much a bullet good. or two. Fair enough. Um, if I had to make anything better, other than the giant levels... I don't know, I kind of wanted more, like, it's weird to say you want more vehicle sections in a game, but I do. At least with Banshees. Like, I like. I wish I got to be a Banshee more. Those were kind of fun. The ghosts are fun. Ghosts are fun, except every time I just wanted to fly in them, and I know that would be like, well, then just use a Banshee. Like, I just got there, and I was like, eh, please? Like, just a little bunny hop or something to, like... You can, you can ramp. <laughs> I could ramp. There was a, what, it was towards the end. What mission? I can't remember what the mission was called again because they all. I didn't even know they were mission names till the end of the game. Like, would it just be like, "Oh, you're here"? Like, I, I don't know. I, I should. I guess I should have put it together. But like, you weren't to bring a, supposed to bring a ghost up this cliff to where there was like a giant open snowy field, and there were like two like uh, alien tanks there, and it was just a horde of guys. But like, I got the ghost up there, and that was the only way I can get through that part. Oh man, I wish I knew what it was called now. Well, screw it. I tried. <laughs> Look, I, it's, it's really, I went to bed late last night. I have a pick-up video I should probably film, like, next week when I care. Uh, I did. My pick-up shelf is, like, there now. No, I got I to gotta watch it. I, well, on Friday, I was kind of busy all day. I was going to, like, four yeah. times away. I'm watching. I Look, I'm trying to catch up on everybody. Every time I reload YouTube, I have, like, a full page of stuff. It's like, this just happened while you refresh the page. I'm like... <laughs> get this. Like, actually, once I, because now, like, Cassie's made me want to get the video games monthly box. Like, I'm just like, I am gonna, I'm never gonna get things. I thought about that too. Then I was like, with my luck, I'll get it and I'll get like a Mario Duck Hunt. And, well, like, you can, if you send them a wish list, it's like they usually give you good stuff. There's a wish list. I thought so much stuff. I was gonna get it my uh, my buddy at for his birthday because he lives in literally the middle of the woods. Like, there's nothing to. I get games from like here. They'll just ship they, you random ones. Hope you like it. Do they have a postal service? What do you mean a postal service? Oh, yeah, they have a postal service. <laughs> I'm <just kidding. laughs> I was like, do you need video games monthly? I'm like, yeah, that's how it gets. We're gonna spent. have an owl fly over and drop it on your door. <laughs> that's a Harry Potter. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Uh, any closing thoughts on Halo? We'll uh, we'll run down the line, Cass. Um. No, I I want to play the next ones. I haven't played through any of the others, so. If you vote it, it can happen. No. Yep. Magic. I wouldn't mind somebody voting Halo too. Fair enough. Mark. Yeah, I mean, overall, it's a good game, minus the flaws that we mentioned already. Yeah. Was, I mean, I just wish there was more story to it. Just right there, for being the perfect like shooter for me. It's right there. Yeah. Well, that's good. So next month we're playing Force Unleashed, which I'm so excited yep. about. Cause I this I don't know, I'm not the biggest Star Wars like movie guy. I just, I just got this in. Oh, so you got uh, so you are playing. You're not gonna do one again? I might. They're short, so. So yeah, I thought it was like a four hour game, but apparently I looked up I looked up on how long to beat, and it's like no, it's like eight hours. I'm like I've heard so many different things. So, and I kind of want to see if a PS2 Force Unleashed has that Smash Brothers clone. I really want to play that. Or maybe it's it's fun. Fun. Yeah, I can't remember if it's the first or second Force Unleashed, but in one of them, on the Wii version, there's a straight-up Smash Brothers clone with all the characters. And if you oh. beat Darth Vader, you might as well just win. Because he, like, force chokes people and he, like, throws them down, like... Is it part of the story, or is it like a random... No, it's like, it's like a minigame. Oh, okay. So I cool. really, really want to play that, because I want to be, like, Smash Brothers Star Killer and, like... See how like it's probably like Masters of Terracasi, just good, hmm. and not a two D fighter, but you know what I meant. Yeah, yeah, I just want that. All right, so I guess I'll see you guys next month when we play Force Unleashed. Well, my closing yeah. thoughts are. Uh... Oh yeah, shit, Corey, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> I about you. You've done this to me before. I didn't fuck you too. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I think uh, Halo is a really great game. Very raw, like I said. Um, raw. It's a lot of games. They they have a, a great like beginning concept, and you just know the sequel is gonna like improve on that, kind of like Assassin's Creed and many other games. Yeah. And uh, Halo Two does that, I'm sure. I haven't. Halo One's the only Halo I've beaten, by the way. I usually just play multiplayer. Yeah. Did anyone play Halo Two? 
I played a tiny, tiny bit of multiplayer. I beat Halo 2 way back in the day. Does the story from 1 go straight up into 2? Yeah. I don't think so. Not from what I remember. All right, I thought they I... all were in sync together. Well, they are. It's just like, I thought, I, like I'm talking about like a pickup point. Like right when oh, 1 ends, it's like, yo, no. two's happening right now. Like. Oh, I don't know then. Not. That's what happens. I forget. It's been a while since I played it. Yeah. Let's get all the way through five through game games clubs. I I need to get an Xbox One, but I'll do it. Like, Isn't it just game club now? I look. I'm not. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in charge of this. The president was here. You can ask him questions. Okay. Sorry. Anyways. Yeah. Fun game. Good. All right, so next one. What is next? Wait, hold up. I gotta see your calendar now. May. Let's thank you. <laughs> Let's shoot for, I guess, uh, thirty. Wow, the end of the month is like in the middle of the week. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, I guess we'll have to shoot for like June fourth or something. We'll figure it out. I'll make it work. And then uh, fifteenth. All right, actually, sneak preview for anyone that's that's in on this. What are you guys voting for for June? I already have my picks. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Ooh. I probably want to throw Banjo Kazooie in there again. Yeah, I kind of want to do that too. So I, all right, fine. You do Banjo Kazooie. I'm doing Dark Siders two and Cold Shadow. Ooh, Dark Siders two. I had the game three times now. I might as well play it. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm doing that. And it, you got yours, Mark, or no? Uh, I think I might do Rescue. Uh. Chippendale Rescue Rangers again. You're, you're really pushing for that to get voted. <laughs> hey, there's... Either that or Half-Life, I don't know. I'll do Half-Life again. Like, I don't mind Half-Life at all. Dude, I want to play that again. Like, I just beat him. Like, I want to do that again. Hey, I have a question, yeah. though. Yeah. We can only do sequels if, one, one, if they don't go together, and two, if if we've already played the first one in the club, right? Nope. You can vote a sequel. In. So I could just say, like, Uncharted 3. Go for it. I don't go out of sync. I don't either. That's why I was asking. Yeah, that's not a good I idea. Mean, I mean, we can get a group consensus on it, but I, I would throw Uncharted 2 in there because, you know, you know, if you got free time, look it up. I don't, I don't mind going out of sequence if I have to. But, you know, we'll, we'll get a consensus going, I guess. Okay, well, I'm going to, like, throw, like, God of War 3 in there then and stuff because... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I'll look up a story if I have to. Like, it doesn't bother me. I'm more about actually playing the game. I don't know what the street thug thing I just did was, but... <laughs> okay, just let I'll let everyone know that I won't do that. I won't vote, stuff like that. I will Unless sure we've that. already played it in here. And if I ask everyone, they say they've already beaten the other ones. Well, our first game yeah, ever was like Dark Siders, so we, we should have done Dark Siders 2 for like the anniversary, but... Well, luckily I've already beaten Dark Siders 1, so I don't mind that one. Well, look, the thing about Dark Siders yeah, 2 is that they, they take place at the same time. They so do, yeah, that's true. You don't have to play the first one. I'm waiting for the other two to come out. It's supposed to be four. Yeah, good luck, because THQ doesn't exist. Yeah, but someone bought Darksiders. That doesn't mean they're going to do anything. They did? Yeah. It's Zelda it meets God of War. Like, it's so good. Uh, like, if, if Zelda snorted a line of, like, like <laughs> heroin, or not heroin, cocaine, or meth, or whatever hypes you up, and just was like, I'm going to rip everything apart, like... It's like, it's literally, you get a new item in a dungeon, use it to beat that dungeon, and then yeah. you still have the item, repeat, like... Cassie, you should play Darksiders. I've never it's, played it. Dude, it's really all got a war! It's really good. It's a good game. Oh, God, it's so good, all of them are good. All right, I we're still gonna... haven't played the second one yet. Well, it, it can be voted! Me neither, yeah. voted. Well, I have it for uh, Xbox 360, but I want to play it for... PS3 since I beat the first one on PS3. I have it for PS3 and PS4, but I'm going to do the PS4 one. I forgot there was a PS4 version. It's called the Definitive Edition. Definitive? De de definitive? I can't even say it. Yeah, Definitive. Yeah, I might have to pick up the PS4 version then. <laughs> well, I heard it's the Definitive version. Well, I'm not even saying this as a Nintendo fanboy, but see, I heard the Wii U one was the best because the menu is on the tablet, so like like, the menus are kind of a pain in Dark Side of 2, so I heard, like, on the tablet, you could just, like, drag and do things, so... Except that you're probably running at, like, 480p, 28 frames per second. Whatever! Who, need, who <laughs> needs just, that many P's? I'm just kidding. Who needs that many P's? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I know. If I ever see a PS4 copy, I'll probably end up getting that version, because that... I think it's, like, like, 15 bucks now or something. Well, I got it digitally for, like, 2 bucks, and then this one I found at Goodwill, 
And then I had a PS3 copy that I don't know. I don't know, 360 copy. I don't know where it is now, so. That's life. We are so past Halo at this rate. I know. My bad. Fuck it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go shopping for my mom's Mother Day gift now, so. I'm going to write a paper and then go grocery shopping. Screw papers. Screw papers are done. I know, screw papers. Screw school and careers. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm feeling that right now. <laughs> i got to learn the combination circuits that I can't figure out for electrical crap. I'm just like, uh, no. <laughs> yeah, screw it. I will talk to you guys during the month. So have fun. Alright. Bye, everyone. Bye. Sounds good. Bye. I love you, Mark. I love you, too. <laughs> I love you, guys. Oh, no.